Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. As you can see from the awakened version of Eugene, our dreams have finally been answered. It's not gonna go on and continue just the grind of building him out of a bunch of different places. Now today we're gonna be looking at him in his entirety. Now remember this hero at this point is about six months old, but you can see we have the trial hero. So they are releasing the awakened version of Eugene as the awakened hero, I'm assuming the awakened hero that they're not gonna do another one in like two more weeks, but it seems like this is gonna be the variation, which again, this is kind of unprecedented because we haven't seen this before on how they release these heroes. So overall, a lot of players were also talking about him being in the awakened ship or the, the heroic ship at this point, which looking right here at the advanced ship, um, he is in here. So that means that all of the players that have been farming him, that have been getting copies of him, are gonna have the ability to literally just pick up all these hero tiers, including his animated avatar for completely free. And of course, if you've built him out a little bit further, you'll be able to get those red chests. But also once he does get to that ascended, for a majority of us players, um, we are one copy away at this point from getting that awakened version of Eugene, which means that we are still gonna be able to get him out of the shop. Now that is something very, very important to really remember is we're gonna have the ability to still get him out of the guild store and we'll hop over here and take a look. So he is still gonna be available in here within the guild store. And of course, we're gonna be able to pick up copies right here of the Soul Stones of Eugene. Now, of course, as you're building him out of here, it's going to be very important to note is we can build him all the way to Ascended with five stars. At that point, he is no longer gonna be available in the shop which means you cannot farm extra copies for him, unfortunately. But that means with all of the upcoming events, we're gonna have to essentially summon with our Stargazer Scrolls to get copies of him. And also, I believe he is gonna be in different game modes. Now we know he's coming for the regular summon, so if you're doing the summons in here, there's a chance that you can pull him. In the Stargazer, he is going to have to be ascended. Now, of course, I don't have him ascended on this account because we're not quite there yet but also a lot of players were kind of questioning, is he coming to the Temple of Time? And the answer there again is yes. You're gonna have the ability to pull Eugene in his entirety, which of course is going to be huge as you continue to build him out, as you continue to get him a little bit further. So it's awesome to see. And again, this is coming with the patch that is coming up on Global that you're gonna have the ability to actually pull him in a multitude of ways, just like a regular hero. And again, just like we have seen before. Now the question lies, how effective is he going to be in a lot of different game modes? Now overall, when it comes to seeing him in the Cursed Realm and the Nightmare Corridor, there's actually been a few places that he has been used that we've kind of seen him in a few of the leaderboards, um, which essentially means there's going to be a point where he is gonna be used, and I believe these are both calculating, so we're not gonna be able to see anything, but there's gonna be a point where you're going to be able to use him in a multitude of game modes, and I really feel like we don't even know the true power of this hero without having the ability to actually build him out his entirety, meaning having furniture on him, getting the engraving on him, um, even building him up to multiple stars, putting you know the, the 30, the 60, even the 80 engraving. We have been using him as a, a very base hero. Even within the Abyssal Expedition, there are some team comps built around him, even though he is only at uh, Mythic Plus at this point, because we don't have him up to Ascended. So again, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Now also remember that Eugene does work hand in hand with Gavis. So Gavis, of course, is the kind of the counterpart of Eugene. So when you're looking at the heroes themselves, we're gonna have to see kind of how this dynamic looks of building Gavis and Eugene together. Now, for a lot of players, Gavis is incredibly well and he works incredibly well in the PvP aspect. And of course, we're still seeing him kind of one-off formation niches, um, kind of every here and there that, that he's being used. He's been run primarily with the Awakened version of the Belinda comp due to the damage mitigation factor that he does have within there. And again, it's really gonna be interesting to see exactly how this hero works in conjunction with the Awakened version of Eugene, but I am just super stoked that this is finally over. Now again, for a lot of players, they went in, they've been farming up guild coins, they've been getting copies. I got a couple copies out of a bunch of different events. Also got him out the Temple Rift, which means now we don't have to get him out of anywhere, which is very, very, 
very well received to go ahead and do to get them done. Now also the Gloria, Gloria Spectacular is up, which means we are getting, that is right, a free copy of Eugene. With this, this is again going to give all of the players the ability to, in the final, really the, the key to the puzzle that we are missing, having this one final copy that is gifted to us is going to allow us again to take him to Ascended. Ascended means he's going to be in the Stargazer, so save up your scrolls, save up your diamonds, because we're going to be able to build him out there. Now, of course, on the YouTube account, I already have furniture built for him. We already have everything else built for this hero, which means we are literally just waiting to see exactly what it's going to look like when it comes to Eugene and when it comes to how effective this hero is going to be going to be over at all. Now, also looking at the Gloria Spectacular, this is only two of four. Now, the first one, if you remember, they gave us some scrolls, they gave us some time emblems, they gave us some Stargazer scrolls, um, they gave us some diamonds, I think it was like 10,000 diamonds. So they gave us quite a bit. And again, during the period from April 3rd to April 18th, adventurers who log into the game will get a free copy earliest you can receive the next gift will be 418 so that is another two weeks please be patient a lot of players were thinking that this was actually going to come up on a daily basis or a weekly basis so we have another two almost three weeks a little less than three weeks before this is going to be up to go ahead and pick up another copy of the awakened version of eugene and overall as many players that didn't like how they kind of rolled him out and how they built him we pretty much got an Awakened Hero for free. Now I know it did cost resources with a bunch of different places. Um, again, Temple Rift primarily because we weren't getting Stargazer Scrolls and Time Emblems out of there. And then of course the Guild Store I wasn't too really worried about. If you're buying gear out of there, gear doesn't have a huge effectiveness. But overall, definitely cool to see that they are giving us those free copies. And like I said before, when it comes to the Temple Rift, when it comes to a couple other places, you are still gonna have the ability to actually go in here and do the swap the exact same thing. So if you haven't built them out, if you missed a couple copies, if you weren't buying them out of the guild shop, you're gonna have the ability to come in here and pick up some copies as well, which I believe is the reason why it kind of coincided with the events that we had going on right now, even with the gift card, that we didn't have that awakened version of Eugene in here because they knew that Gloria Spectacular was coming and they were gonna give us the free copy of the awakened version of Eugene just out of there. Now, of course, we have a lot more things that are coming. Mail gifts, login to claim Eugene. Again, this is the final copy. You can see the Covenant invite is already done. Isle of Gold reward bonuses. We're getting a 10% buff in there. Global warm, uh, global warm reunion gifts are gonna be coming. And again, this is gonna be very, very soon that most of this should be coming up and it is going to be actually a reset tomorrow. Isle of Gold and the Reunion is going to be there. We can also see that the Mystic Star Zone or Sky Zone um, is coming back. And then, of course, the Celebration is coming as well. So a lot more stuff coming down the pipeline for AFK Arena. Again, I am super stoked that Eugene is finally done and we can get those last three copies we need to put the engraving on him. Definitely going to be well worth it. But all right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.